Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Dragonborn and we're about to head into the Abandoned Experiments Wing. The door to the Abandoned Experiments Wing has been sealed shut. As you approach it, a voice says, Password required for entry into the Corporeal Magics Wing. I'm here to take the three silver tour, 09254-02492 and or 09451. I don't know what happens if you say the wrong one, so I'll try 02. 2492, which is one that I was given, and hopefully she gave me the right one. This appears to be the correct place. Now we are in the abandoned experiments wing. Unlike the sprawling main floor of Fathom's headquarters, the rooms down here branch off from a single narrow hallway. Wonderful. Mole rats. Mole, or is it mole rats? Well, something nasty. That's all I can say about that. Now, let's see. This room is now empty. I guess we're going to have to... Hmm. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> Don't do that to me, Doris! Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Well, apparently these security bots, I haven't seen any of their pads yet. So we'll see what happens there. Let's get down to here, up to here, up, down, all around. and whines from the cages that line the room. A panicked voice calls to you from the distance. Oh, all right. Oh, hold on, there, we've got a trap here. Yeah, all right. I suspect there's a trap here. A trap here? Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Right, I'm sure you are. All right, I'll get you out. Oh. And any more? Oh. And what else is left? Hmm. Anything else around here? Uh, hello. I'm trying to find a way to get you out of here. Seems like you're pretty secure in here. Am I supposed to be looking for more traps? Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Oh, actually, maybe I should see what happens if I use my rune arm. One, two, three, four. Well, that was useless. Oh, hold on. No, oh, let's see. Hmm. What if I... Remove the weapon. Ah, oh, there it is. Ah, oh, good. Now I got this. Hello. Ha! Of course you fell for it, you fool. These webs were my own design. <laughs> yeah, well, two can play at that game. Detected in Fathom headquarters, sending security to apprehend the suspect. Uh. Uh, quit that! Quit that! Quit that! Okay, you're, you go after him first. The animal handler grunts and collapses to the dirty kennel floor. Yeah. <sighs> Rude. Anything left? 
Nope. Not even a treasure chest! Rude! Oh well. Back down. Back through. Back up. Back around. Ah. Down this hallway. Is everybody with me? Okay, good. Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Yeah. I'm gonna get sick of that line eventually. You find a cramped and barren room, furnished with only a bed and a desk. Journal of Dr. Leroy, Part 3. What is a man? His body? His mind? His soul even? A man is nothing! Only clay ready to be molded beneath skilled fingertips. Take Vaunt and his arcane assistant. It had the potential for true greatness. But just, not just simple spells. It was all I thought about during his rise to infamy. How if the technology were in my hands, I could make better use of it than just some toy for the masses? Then I stumbled across one of his devices in a black market in Cogsgate. Only this wasn't a normal arcane assistant. After examining it, I found that it was a prototype that had been modified to take life. There was a strange energy inside the machine, which I later discovered was a woman's soul. She's, luck she's lucky, that woman, whether she realizes it or not. She should be grateful that she was able to be such a magnificent part of history. <laughs> Creepy. Creepy. Did I, did I tell you that I thought it was creepy? Alright. Oh, hello! Oh, well. Oh, no, 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 no. Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Yeah, that's the problem when you got jellies. Ah. <sighs> Alright, we, we, we didn't need the ochre jellies on top of all this mess. I'm just saying. Uh -huh. I don't trust when it's so uh, willfully throw something up like that. So we'll go this way. Oh. Okay, I won't go that way. <laughs> yeah. Don't do that to me. I think Doris needs her wits. <laughs> Hello, mole rats. Oh, mole rat. Why do I keep on calling them mole rats? Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. I'd like to apprehend these mole rats. There you go. And now for you, 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 you. Anything else in here? Just a cage of mole rats. And I presume there's something on the other side. Anything down here? Down here? Down here? Down here? You find a room marked Failed Experiment A. Inside, piles of inert warforged, tanks of humans, and other curiosities fill the room. A somewhat battered vaunt prototype is positioned against the back wall. Let's see. Journal of Dr. Leroy, Part 2. Fathom Endeavors was a means to an end. With the Aram in charge, I sacrificed a negligible amount of freedom. And in return, I gained funding, resources, all the tools I could ever need to perform my experiments. And no one bothered me. Not the City Watch on the surface, and not the Aram. I made my beast available for purchase to an elite security force. And the money I gained paid for my beautiful and discreet laboratory. 
No longer was I confined to the back room in the lower city of the Cogs. Now I had a modest base beneath, deep beneath the waves. I built my best creatures in the but biological magic swings, and back of, with no no one, <laughs> and back then no one, not that wretch Volcana, not Calfon Riak, stood in my way. <laughs> Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Invoice to Fathom employees. Oh, yeah, notice the Fathom employees, yes. On the orders of Dr. Volcana, any experiments taking place in the laboratory will cease operations due to multiple failed attempts on l and loss of life. The device, in its current state, is too volatile to deliver reliable results. Use caution while handling the device. The wrong setting may result in one soul being extracted and being stored in this machine. Well, yeah, that is a little bit of a drawback to using this. Alright, anything else in here? Switch. Uh huh. Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security All right, to turn it off. the suspect. Uh, I guess it can't be turned off. Oh, well. <clears throat> anyway, oh, one of these things. Prototype soul splitter. Wonderful. Current mode, soul extraction mode. A uh, meter on the device shows what state is, what state there is, shows that there is one soul left in the container. In container. Would you like to activate the device? Well, not when it's in soul extraction mode. Appears quite old. Perhaps it's one of Fathom's first attempts at creating a soul splitter. Reversing the power flow to the machine should allow you to release the last soul trapped inside. All right. So I don't want to do anything. With what first thing I want to do is make sure that nothing gets into there because these red things i'm sure are rather nasty this usual pattern with these sending security to apprehend the suspect so get rid of all the reds then yellow looks like it could be the alternate mode hmm, how about if i do that now what does it say? Current mode, soul displacement mode. A meter on the device says that there's one. So whatever soul displacement, let's see what it says. Release the soul. You trigger the device. It sparks, and a familiar form suddenly materializes. The soul vanishes just as abruptly as it appeared. But then your soulless warforged companion falls to her knees. Perhaps you should make sure she's doing all right. Uh, Doris, how are you doing? Pine Frost? Intruder detected Is that you? Headquarters. How did you find me down here? Uh, uh, how long has it be been outside? Uh, I have to find my father. He must be worried for me. Uh, well, isn't that my line? Isabeth, we thought you were dead. Uh, I... I was? Uh, yes, I know it. I, I felt queasy, and so I was standing at the edge of the cliff, and then I had the sensation of falling, and then nothing. It was all black. I was gone. But I didn't stay that way. Next thing I knew, I was in some sort of cage in this room. I could only watch as the scientists performed horrible experiments on the others. It's a wonder I didn't go insane. I wish we had more time to catch up, but we have to move. The sounds of countless warforce are counting on us to release them from a bigger cage than yours. Of course, we can talk again later, after we've taken care of business here. Oh, and Pine Frost... I know we've had our differences in the past, what with Vaunt and all, but, uh, thank you. Okay, well, stay close behind me and try not to put yourself in danger. Lucian Vaunt punished Isabet by using her as a test subject in an experiment, leaving her soul trapped inside this Vaunt device. 
Releasing her soul has given her a new body. But you doubt that the real Doris will be happy with this news. <laughs> what? Doris won't be happy about being... Well, okay, yeah, Doris won't be happy about it. We, we know. Uh, we need to... We've been there already, and we've been there. We... Well, actually... Intruder detected in Fathom Headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Yeah, I'm sure you are. I'm sure you are. You walk in on a gruesome scene. An elf with an unsettling smile stretched across his lined face stands behind a modified Vaunt device, surrounded by the mangled bodies of his experiments. This man doesn't seem surprised to see you. This must be the one they call the Stitcher, the former head of Fathom Endeavors. The crazed inventor begins to weep as he concludes his speech. And yet he remains smiling as he activates the soul splitter and collapses before you. Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, I'd rather get into the area where I can deal with these guys. Especially that manicure! <laughs> Intruder detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. The manticore doubles over in pain. So this vessel has failed me. No matter, there are always more bodies. I'm sure there are. And triggers his device again. Well. Are you down? Ready? Falls to the floor. Maybe I should have is finally snuffed out of him. His face remains frozen in a macabre grin. <laughs> oh wonderful. Ah <sighs> Alright. Maybe I should have made them a little bit more active in this fight. Oh well Occasionally forget things. So much for the stitcher. Detected in Fathom headquarters. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Oh, let's see what we've got here. Mage file cannon parts. Yeah. yeah. Oh, start part one. I stand with. A I st started with animals, small ones at first. A mouse here, a pigeon there. My first successful venture entailed giving a sparrow an iron beak. I observed it in the wild for several weeks. Its quest for a mate it slew its competitors one by one. Survival of the greatest in action! And just like that, it all clicked into place. The bird later died of starvation, as expected. Naturally, it couldn't eat properly with my modifications. But what does that matter? Intruder it acted on instinct. It triumphed over lesser members, members of its species. I gave it a legacy. It is the same with the others. My prismatic hounds, the mall rats, the siege spiders. They're all the best of their kind. And they're only the beginning. Imagine how far I can push them. They will rise above pain and the silly needs of weak flesh. I will break them apart and make them whole in a way they never were before. <laughs> oh, creepy. Very, very creepy. I'm saying he was creepy. What does this do? Intruder detected in fire. Absolutely headquarters, nothing. Sending security to apprehend the suspect. Fine, I'll just pull that. Whee! Now, what next? Now, I guess the place where we had the. Is that up here where we had the double thing? Yep. You encounter a small nook. 
where you can rest before riding the elevator up to the central laboratory and whatever waits inside. Once you proceed to the central laboratory, you will be unable to leave until the quest completes. Wonderful. It's all over now. They've turned their backs on me. The lot of them. Volcana lured them in with her syrupy words, muttering about the efficacy and profit. They don't realize how money pales in comparison to the growth of knowledge and how unsold beasts will rot down here while the doctor remakes my lab and twists Fathom to her will. Cal Van Riak will pay. When he introduced me to her, I thought she'd be deferring to me, my vision, my methods, my designs. Instead, my wing and all the experiments are abandoned, and her soul split, war forged, are all that Aram cares about anymore. Well, I still have one more trick up my sleeve. I'll build. Another soul splitter. Yes, one I can operate with the helm of telepathy. That way, there's no body that won't be mine to control. No one I can't bend to my will. After all, this vessel is just a suit. And bodies are but chunks of clay. That is creepy. And it looks like it's time to head into the Central Laboratory, which is where we'll go in the next episode of Piney Plays The Dragonborn.